through the Vietnam War Memorial for those who lived in the Alabama area and served and didn't come home. Uh, but now we're at the Korean War Memorial here in Alabama. And my grandfather flew for the Navy in the Korean War. And I can't help but wonder if uh, any of those in this memorial were people that he he served side by side with, or he knew personally. There's obviously a lot of names placard, or chiseled out, engraved into these, these stone memorial pieces. Um, anyways, it's kind of a kind of a somber place, but uh, it's always good to memorialize. And remember and reflect wars that we fought and yeah. the sacrifices that have been made so we can enjoy the freedoms that we have. This was actually the aircraft that my grandfather flew uh, in the Navy off of um, aircraft carriers. Anyways, this one's labeled Marines, but it was commonly used by the Marines and the Navy uh, from 1930 to like 1980. I built up one of these aircraft as a model, um, model, little model aircraft when I was a kid, but this is the first time I've ever actually seen one up close, and it's pretty amazing. Approaching the bow of the ship. I don't know. There's a lot of artillery. You can see the two uh, two guns, three guns facing forward here. Plus some 40 millimeter off the bow. Got some smaller. Machine guns along the uh, the port port side. <laughs> Nothing really very comfortable about this ship. Everything has a function, um, serves a purpose. Those purposes I can only just begin to imagine. Here's the bay in which the USS Alabama lives. some internal artillery here. There's a means for the uh, USS Alabama to cover its tail, so to speak. So, come on up, watch your head. Bring up a couple layers on level three. Slowly working our way up. At least I had to stay back. Uh, because we have Neela and dogs aren't allowed. So, doing a little exploring on my own. Of course, I had a full mill and lathe machine shop on board. Got a 
course the galley. Going up again. Maybe on level four or five at this point. <laughs> I've lost track. Oh, there we go. Level five. You can see Lake House in the distance. just has levels of artillery that continue from the main deck all the way up to the sixth deck. I don't see anything up above the sixth deck yet. Continuing to go up, I think I'm up another couple flights here. And we're on level seven. Wow, some of these are a tight squeeze. I imagine not everybody makes it to this point. This looks like maybe about as high as we can go. Is this next ladder up? It's closed off. So let's keep exploring. Drop a couple quarters, get a view of the bay. I think that's the end of the road. I don't think we can go any higher. So, start working our way down. All right, I'm going down. I should probably use both hands going up and down these ladders. All right, heading down to the engine room. feels like I shouldn't be down here, but it's part of the tour. AC generators. I like the kind of how the sound effects going on down here is if the engine room's running. A second AC generator. pretty good sense of direction, but uh, we lost. <laughs> I can tell front to back, but I can't figure out how to get to the main deck to exit this place. This is waiting and uh, she may be growing impatient. Okay, so here's what happened in the 
luxuries of the lifestyle that we live is we were on our way today from Mississippi to Tallahassee, Florida to stay in somebody's driveway utilizing Green Doctor's Welcome, which is a cool service. Anyways, we decided let's take the scenic route and we drove through Pensacola Beach and decided it's such a nice day and it's so beautiful and it's white sandy beaches that we found a camp spot for the night and gonna stay here for the night and cancel the Boon Doctor's Welcome uh, driveway. It's impromptu completely, but it worked out really nicely. I mean, we should be pushing through Florida right now, but we're still paced okay, so uh, why not just stop, enjoy the weather, enjoy the water. Uh, that's what this whole uh, journey is all about. So, not all beaches here allow dogs, so there's only certain sections. So we drove about three miles from our camp spot, which is not yeah, too bad, but um, to find a spot where Neela can hang out as well. So it's a little bit busier here just because I think people are here with their dogs and there's a small section they allow it. But anyways, a great day in Pensacola. April 30th, Captain's Log. We just arrived at a desolate, unoccupied place on Earth uh, in this journey and path of discovery. Uh, no, actually, we're in uh, Fort Myers Beach, um, Florida. And earlier when we walked the beach, people were all over the place. However, there was a storm kind of brewing and uh, it just completely cleared out the entire beach. So. We have it to ourselves. Looks like the storm's maybe behind us. Uh oh, technical difficulties. Look, what do we have here? What's going on? Oh, I hear that thunder. So we have a dog bag crisis here on the beach. Uh, dog bags have unraveled from Mila's leash. <laughs> but I think we'll, we'll manage and uh, this mission will continue. Over now. Hey, are you gonna go get your shoes? I guess so. Yeah. I guess to set this whole thing up is um, we got back from the beach, it was raining, so I set my shoes down here next to the steps because they were muddy and I didn't want to track them indoors. And it rained really hard and it's created a puddle. That's like six inches deep right there at the base of the stairs. But my shoes that were once there are no longer there. Where have they gone? Over there. They've drifted away Over there. into the oblivion. There's one over there. Wait, where'd it go? I don't know. Go get your shoes. So, Mission Impossible here. Can I walk on water? <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah, it's cold. God, it's all soggy. <laughs> Not funny. Go get your shoe. <laughs> There's one shoe. <laughs> oh, I'm getting splattered. This is great. This is great. 
No, you have to strip off your clothes outside because you're wet. This is just wonderful. <laughs> well, don't bring your shoes and put them in the back of your truck. Don't, don't bring them in? No. You did it. There's a towel right there for you. All right, so I wasn't able to walk on water. I feel like you did. Nice job. Shoe rescue mission complete. Neela, you want to come over here and see me? You want to see a squirrel, don't you? <laughs> this is a song especially for Neela because she's so darn beautiful. <laughs> you ready, Neela? This song is for Neela. Ready, Neela? She's a good girl. She you likes ready? to paint squirrels. Oh, you beautiful dog. You little beautiful dog. Let me put my arms about you. Well, I could hardly live without, without you. you. Beautiful old. You beautiful dog. You cute little beautiful dog. <laughs> well, if you ever leave me, how my heart would ache. I want to hold you, but I feel you'd break. Oh, 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 you beautiful dog. dog. <laughs> Woo!